Good morning, Fruit Faces. It's Clary Berry here, and I'm so excited to talk to you guys today about this new plan that I've kind of stumbled upon that I'm really excited to try. I am going to kind of let you know about it in this video. So, so as you guys know, I've been doing raw tail for, for almost two years now. I'm coming up on 22 months, actually, in just a few days. Maybe I'll get around to doing a before and after video. Let me know if you guys would like that or not. With all the talk about unnatural vegan and the whole thing about, oh, vegans aren't getting enough protein, basically this really just made me start paying attention after the other day. I put out myself a what I eat video. You can check it, it's just from a couple days ago. Um, and I only got like 70% of my nutrients and it was a day that I didn't eat salad and like the vast majority through the week I always eat salad So if I'm eating like a ton of salad throughout the week and then I have a day towards the end of the week where I'm not eating a lot of salad I'm really not worried about it. And I think that's kind of my whole take on a natural vegan or oh yeah She eats Splenda so she's a natural vegan now. I think that just slipped out. Sorry And like I said, you know, I don't think everybody is perfect in any f diet on any per any single day any random day every single day i should say um and i don't think anybody should be worried about doing that either i don't think that's healthy to be that obsessed with getting 100 percent nutrients every single day until i found out how easy it was um i, mean, I used to do this in the past kind of go through chron chronometer chronometer excuse me chronometer.com uh, or I have the app on my phone to go through it and try to figure out, you know, what can I get to get up to 100% today? What do I need? I think it's a really good idea, you know, to at least occasionally, and you can put the parameters by looking for a couple weeks at a time to see what you may be deficient in. And I think this is a really great idea to do this. I've been promoting this for a really long time, like I said, but it just gave me the idea of seeing, okay, what playing around with what are the minimums, you know, what foods do I have in my house that I could eat right now, um, you know, and I'm going to just kind of flow with this for a little while. The amounts are hard to calculate. Your nutritional, there's, there's a little bit of leeway on what is actually necessary. I'm not using, you know, necessarily the USDA guidelines 100%, but I am using guidelines that I feel to my knowledge are right for me on my high carb vegan lifestyle. So with that said, you may not go to your chronometer setup and plug in the same foods that I'm putting in today or that I'm gonna tell you about today and you may not get 100% for your body type, for your activity level and for the types of guidelines that you're looking at. But you can you can see, you know, this is, this is a lot of nutrition and um, this is definitely for what, like I said, for what I've researched, this is 100% of my nutrients. So basically, here's the plan, and I'm going to try to do this, you know, like I said, not every single day, but especially when I'm feeling like, okay, I need to get on track and kind of want to do a cleanse because this diet is very cleansing. Um, then I will steer towards this diet, but also, and I'm going to call it the 100% diet just because it's so awesome that you actually get 100% nutrients. But also, you know, not only as a cleanse or something like this, but also as a basis, using this 100% diet as a basis for structuring your foods around. This is like your staples. This is what you're making sure you're eating every single day or aiming to eat every single day or almost every single day or throughout the, you know, throughout the week, get your averages, however you want to do it. But basically, you can eat more than this diet. This is not a restrictive diet. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in calorie restriction. I don't believe in any of that. So basically, what's going to happen is you're going to eat what's on this plan. You're going to say, yes, I got 100% of my nutrients for today. Oh, shit, I'm still hungry. And that is perfectly fine. This diet is not meant to be an end-all, be-all. Your calorie needs can be different than the rest of your nutritional, which is what we're talking about today. I'm not talking, this is not 100% of your calorie needs necessarily. Calorie needs and carbohydrate needs may be higher. Again, these are based on mine. I weigh like 115, 118 pounds or something right now. And I'm 5'4". So... Here it is, without further ado, I'm just gonna let you have it. You wake up in the morning, you drink all your water, get all your water nutrients, I would say at, at minimum, you know, you wanna do like 60 or so ounces, do like up to 75 is pretty good, 100 ounces, and again, this is for my body weight. Um, if you're 
much bigger person, you might need more water. Uh, it really helps keep you, you know, flushed out. Everything's working great, top notch, like a machine. That's one of the most important things. And sleep, of course, and sunlight. And I say sunlight. Some people don't want to get their sunlight, or just don't end up being able to get their sunlight. So you need to take a good vitamin D supplement, or that will definitely take your levels down on your nutrients. Okay, your B12. You definitely need to take your B12. Everybody needs to take a B12, not just vegans. Okay. Pretty much everybody's nutrition or deficient, excuse me, in B12 these days because it's just not as abundant in the soil because we're basically raping the lands with animal agriculture. But that's another video. So anyway, go through your day. With me, I would do about, I like five banana smoothies, sometimes six banana smoothies at a time. I really haven't gotten past that still, even though I'm two years into this. And I can, you know, I have made more. I take them with me if I'm going for a really long time and I'll, you know, do that. But if I'm just making something, you know, just for average meal, it's going to be about five bananas. So I would do about five bananas for breakfast, about five bananas for lunch or for a snack kind of in the morning. And, you know, again, flavor these up however you want to. It doesn't really matter if you're putting extra things in, that's fine. As long as it's not going to be really fatty or, you know, I mean, if you, if you need fats, if you like fats, if you do well on fats, that's fine. But for me, if I'm trying to lose weight and do really well on everything and stay active uh, fat really slows me down so I don't like to add a lot of fats and if I am going to add them of course they're going to be really good fats like geo or flax or something like that so anyways about 10 bananas for your daytime I don't really feel like going above this is necessary uh, I don't feel like it really does me any good if I have 20 bananas or 10 bananas um, I think that the most important thing is that's the main gist of my meal that's the main bulk of my meal that's what i'm eating and i'm not eating other yucky crap instead but you want to get this done and you want to get it done kind of early okay remember you're still drinking your water um and then later on during the day whether it be like more of a lunch meal or more of an afternoon snack or wait till dinner however you want to do it you end up having some spring mix one serving of spring mix with one tablespoon of sunflower seeds Again, you could go to two, you could probably add more. You can add other things to your salad. You can add tomatoes, you can add, you know, all sorts of stuff. Cucumbers, originally I had cucumbers in this meal plan, but I realized they weren't really that necessary to get where I wanted to get. And they're also a little bit more expensive. The, the best thing about it is these are foods that are easily found at any Costco, any grocery store. Usually uh, finding them organic is gonna be the best thing to do, but peas, and broccoli okay four cups of peas four cups of broccoli do not go lower than this you will not get a hundred percent of your nutrients okay sounds like a lot but it's just a really big bowl I eat it out of one bowl I add lemon juice to my broccoli I add nutritional yeast to my broccoli it's so freaking delicious and to my peas I add sriracha and it doesn't mess up the anything it's such a great diet BAM that's it you